Antonio Brown to the Raiders. I'm telling you right now, this offseason is going to be nuts. Yep, the cowboy, Mr. McLean. You Americans are all alike. But this time, John Wayne doesn't walk into the sunset with Grace Kelly. Scary Cooper, asshole. <laughs> 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 Happy trails, Hans. Dallas still stinks. Yo, everybody, how you doing? King Ding Ba here. And as many of you guys have already heard, the world has heard, late last night, Antonio Brown gets traded to the Raiders. Now, the Raiders only gave up a third and a fifth, and we were talking about this on Friday. I was saying I would offer a fourth-round pick or something in that range for Antonio Brown if I was the Eagles. If it got to that point, well, it shows up. Turns out the Eagles apparently were interested in Antonio Brown, but I don't think that interest was really that big of a deal. I didn't think it was big enough of a deal to even do a video on it. So I didn't because I didn't believe the Eagles were ever going to go out and get Antonio Brown. But the Raiders do. They get a third and a fifth to the Steelers. They get Antonio Brown. Now, I have a couple thoughts on this trade. One, the Raiders didn't give up a lot compensation-wise. Third and a fifth for a guy like Antonio Brown, the best receiver in football, that's a great deal compensation-wise. Where they're going to pay is they're going to pay with the money. I think it's $31 million guaranteed. It's like $19.1 million per season. And Antonio Brown is the best receiver in football. No doubt about it. He's going to play with Derek Carr. And my feelings on this are the Raiders got better. You can't bring in a guy like that and not become better. There's just no doubt. Where I have an issue, where, what confuses me about the Raiders is this. You trade Khalil Mack. You trade Amari Cooper. But then you go out and you bring in a guy who's 31 years old, 30 years old, however old he is. But you bring an older guy back and you let these young guys go. Now, I thought the Raiders were trading these guys, getting draft picks, and trying to retool and bring in young guys. Then you turn around and you bring in uh, Antonio Brown. So it kind of confuses me. What are the Raiders trying to do? Are they trying to win now? Are they trying to rebuild for the future? You know, have a brand new team when they get to Las Vegas. A lot of young guys and all that. Now, they got a lot of picks. Don't get me wrong. And you could always use a veteran. So, I, I, I guess. But, you know, I, I would have rather kept Cleo Mack if I was the Raiders. You know what I mean? But Antonio Brown, in terms of what he's going to do for Derek Carr, no more excuses for Carr. Carr better go out and ball out. He better ball out because the excuses are up. He's got the best receiver in football now. And I think the Raiders, with the cap space they have, don't be shocked if they try to get Le'Veon Bell too. I would not be surprised at all. Um, but, hey, look, Gruden loves Antonio Brown. We've known this. He's said nothing many, many years in a row. He's talked about how great Antonio Brown is. So I'm not surprised that the Raiders got him. I just... I'm shocked that they just, they got rid of Khalil Mack and Cooper, and then they go and bring in this guy 30 years old. That's what confuses me, but the Raiders are better. Um, it's going to be fun watching Antonio Brown with the Raiders, uh, no doubt about it. And as far as the Steelers go, look, let's be honest, you're, you're not getting the value for Antonio Brown. You're just not getting the value you deserve. A third and a fifth for the best receiver in football, Phew. That's bad. I mean, the, Raiders, the the Steelers wanted a first-round pick when this whole thing started. They're ending up having to give him away for a third and a fifth. They had no leverage. They had nothing at the beginning of this trade. Um, it's, it's not a good deal for the Steelers, except for the fact that they get rid of a guy who may be a cancer in the locker room, a problem in the locker room, and, you know, comes with a lot of baggage like that. But I'm also going to say this. You ever wonder... If it's not Antonio Brown, if it's not Le'Veon Bell, I mean, is it Ben? Is Ben, maybe they don't like playing him. Is there something else going on that these star players want to leave? Just just something to throw out there. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a Pittsburgh fan. I don't study the details of the Pittsburgh Steelers. I just know that they're losing 
two of their premier stars and Bell, who they don't want to pay, I guess, and then Brown. And I just think that they did not get enough for Antonio Brown. They did not get enough for him. Um, and like I said before, I did not believe the Eagles were ever a part of trying to get Antonio Brown. I'm sure Howie Roseman was calling, trying to figure out, and I'm sure the Eagles had a set range in which they would have gone and pursued him. Compensation-wise, probably was there, but it was the money. He would have eaten up pretty much their whole cap. So I, I know the Eagles weren't going to be real players in Antonio Brown. But, I mean, at the end of the day, Antonio Brown is a Raider, and I'm excited to see how him and Derek Carr look. It's going to be very fun and very fascinating to see how this team goes forward. So now that Antonio Brown is with the Raiders, we all want to know, where is Le'Veon Bell going to go? Where is he going to end up? And a lot of Eagle fans think that he is headed for Philly. They think Howie Roseman's been calculating the calculations of the cornbread to get Le'Veon Bell in the Philly. Now, every NFL insider I've pretty much read says the Eagles are interested in Le'Veon Bell. They all have said it, but what they have said is the only way the Eagles would be really interested or a real player in Le'Veon Bell is he would have to come down in price. He would have to come down in price, and I don't know that he will come down enough for the Eagles. Um, He wants a long-term deal, and in the long-term deal, he wants guaranteed $50 million the first two years. That is a lot of money. I don't know if any team's going to give him that. It'll be very interested. But I think the Eagles, or I think the chance of the Eagles getting Le'Veon Bell is very, very slim. I don't see it happening. I think he's too much money. I think he ends up somewhere like the Jets, the Raiders, something like that. Maybe the Colts, even though I don't think the Colts really need him. I like Mac. But anyways, I think Le'Veon Bell, it's going to be hard for him to come to Philly. Now, do I like Le'Veon Bell? I love Le'Veon Bell dynamic player he would change this offense he would make this offense so dynamic he it would be unbelievable this offense would take the next step with a Le'Veon Bell now I wanted Le'Veon Bell at the trade deadline last year I wanted him as the one-year rental player he was eight and a half million dollars against the cap if he would have came in for the rest of the year and I would have loved to have him but now that he's hitting free agency I just think he's going to get too much money. I really do. A lot of people say, well, you know, maybe he'll never be the same. He took a whole year off. Maybe. But you know what? Sometimes taking that year off for a running back, that helps him. That that will add lengths of years to his career because he spent a whole year not getting beat up. So it, it could work both ways. Now, would I love to have him? Yeah. But I think it's really unlikely. I think it's so unlikely that... Um, you know, I, I just don't see it happening. Um, now, later today, I will be putting out my top five free agent targets for the Eagles um, because tomorrow the legal tampering begins in the NFL where you can negotiate with, with players. And so I want to put out the top five guys I personally want the Eagles to go and get. Now, will they get any of them? Who knows? But I want to give you guys the guys. I want you guys to know who I'm looking for, who I want the Eagles to go after. Now, one of the guys we talked about the other day was Tevin Coleman. Mike Garofalo was on 97.5 The Fanatic. And what he said was, the Eagles are 100% interested in Tevin Coleman. Now, I like Tevin Coleman. I think he's a good back. I don't think he's a lead back. I still think you need to get another back, maybe in the draft, if you got him. What I find very interesting today is that Mike Garofalo, the same guy, he was on NFL Network, NFL free agency thing where they're talking about it. And he was saying the Eagles are interested in Tevin Coleman. But the Eagles view Tevin Coleman's price as probably too high. They don't want to pay him. I think he's going to get like around $7.5 million a year. And they're saying, basically, he was saying the Eagles think that's too high for him. Now, if the Eagles think $7.5 million is too high for Tevin Coleman... I don't know how they're going to go and justify paying Le'Veon Bell. And not only that, if you don't get Tevin Coleman, I can't tell, I got to tell you, there's no running backs in free agency that make me go, ooh, yeah, not really. I mean, at that point, I, I'm not interested in Mark Ingram because he's like almost 30. I'm not interested um, in, in really bringing Ajayi back, although if he's real cheap, if he's a 
third string running back, okay, but not as a featured back, not coming back from a torn ACL. So at this point, you have to either trade for a running back or you have to spend a high draft pick and draft a running back. And that's the only way because to me, there's no running backs on the market that impress me that will come in and really do the job. I would be better, I would be more happy at that point if you say no Bell, no Coleman, I'm I'm happy bringing Blunt back for a year and then drafting a Josh Jacobs in the first round or, or a guy in the second round. But something to, to that effect, because I don't believe that any of the running backs on the market are really that great once you get past Tevin Coleman. I really don't. So it's either a trade or you got to go early in the draft and get a running back, in my opinion. But I will be putting out my top five um I will be putting out my top five free agent once targets, however you want to call it, today, later this afternoon, so you guys will know exactly the guys that I'm interested in. So tell me what you think in the comment section below. I'm curious to hear what you have to say. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.